Hi everyone, and welcome to another Doctor Who Classic Series figure review by me, Super Hamster. And as you can see today, I'm reviewing the Third Doctor and the Giant Maggots from the Green Death. So, it was my birthday last week, and I, with my birthday money, I pre-ordered the Seeds of Doom set. I bought the Eleventh Doctor and Dalek Scientist, the Seventh Doctor from the Time and the Rani, and the third doctor in Sea Devil. So reviews of all that shall be coming up soon. Um, I also got for my birthday the 1988 Remembrance of the Dalek set. The Davros in that set, instead of having the gold spheres, had white spheres. So I was really disappointed with that. So they're sending me a new Davros, so I should receive that quite soon. And that will be reviewed soon as well. So, now for this set. So, I got this set off of eBay for £22, which is a fantastic price, really, for this set, because it's quite rare now. Uh, I've seen it go for around £50 most of the time. So, I'm going to start with the packaging on the figure. So, along the top, we have the Doctor Who logo. In the top right hand corner of 5 plus and beneath that we have a red bubble saying posable action figure. Then down the bottom, here we have a photo of the third doctor and the giant maggots to the left. Then here it says third doctor, giant maggots from the green death with 1973 there and the third doctor's dates there. Down the bottom here we have an underground toys logo and a character options logo under that there and down here we have the American safety sticker so that's the front now for the back so the back of the packaging really nice as well so we have the Doctor Who logo along the top again with a 5 plus and then here we have Yet another photo of the Third Doctor with his the dates when he appeared in the show above there. And here we have some information on the Third Doctor there. A picture of the three giant maggots. And then some information on the giant maggots from the Green Death. Down here we have a list of the eight classic Doctors and the dates when they appeared in the show. And down here we have the code bar, the character options, logo, underground toys, warnings, and so on. Okay, so that was the packaging. Now for the figure. Um, I'm not going to open this set because it is quite rare now. Uh, it looks absolutely fantastic in the packaging. And... Um, Obviously I'm not going to sell it again, but he does look great in the packaging, and it adds more value to it. So, if we start by having a look at John Pertwee. <clears throat> so, he has his white hair with little hints of grey. Uh, the hair's sculpted really nicely. We have the sideboards there. A little bit of a paint leak as you can see onto the face, but it doesn't matter too much. Then the face is absolutely fantastic. The likeness to John Pertwee is brilliant. It looks just like him. Then here he has his burgundy coloured bow tie with his blue frilly shirt. Then I wouldn't say he has a black suit on it's more of a dark blue color with a burgundy color outline uh, we have two buttons there that are done up on the jacket a pocket there then there's some nice creases around here which looks lovely and on the arms as well then we have a bit of the shirt sticking out on both sides then for the trousers, they are the same colour as the jacket, they're a dark blue colour, and he has 
black shoes on there. Okay, so also included is the third Doctor's sonic screwdriver accessory there. So that's very nice. Then we have the three maggots. So these three figures are absolutely fantastic. So they've been sculpted really nicely. As you can see, this maggot here is in a V shape. The one to the right is in less of a V shape, but still a little bit curved. And then this one is completely straight. Uh, this one does not have an open mouth. His mouth is closed. This one has a little bit more of an open mouth. And this one has it wide open. Um, a lot of effort has been put into this. You can tell because of little details like the teeth there. They look absolutely fantastic. Looks really great. Uh, you've got the red tongue as well, so a lot of effort's been put in. Um, the maggots are basically a whitish colour with a dark wash and the green slime on them. So they look really, really nice and very detailed. Um, that's about it really for the set. I can't say that much more about it. Uh, detail wise the set is perfect I think it's absolutely brilliant the third doctor is basically just the same as any other third doctor except for the shoes it is the same sculpt just painted a different colour um, I think it is really really nice though I love the colour of the suit I think it's a lovely outfit and the three maggots has completely new figures um, I'm really happy they haven't just given us three maggots exactly the same. They are sculpted differently and look different, which is really nice as well. So, all in all, absolutely brilliant set. Really, really like it. Um, next, I should be reviewing either the 11th Doctor and Dalek Scientist or the 7th Doctor from the Time and the Rani. But, hopefully, I should be reviewing the... 1988 Remembrance of the Daleks set. So, that's it for this review, guys. Thanks for watching.